I, I want us to look at sword. Sword. Before we dive into sword, we need to understand two types of numbers. The rational numbers and the irrational numbers. Rational and irrational numbers. What are rational numbers? Rational numbers are numbers which you can express as a ratio of what? Two integers. Ratio of two integers. If I say, for instance, P over Q, that this P and Q are integer, we say what? This kind of number are rational numbers. As long as this Q is not equal to zero. Because if Q is equal to zero, you're going to have infinite number. Okay? We are not looking at that. So if you can express a number in the ratio of two integers, we say such a number is a rational number. On this other side, you cannot express something like this, still saying that Q is not equal to zero. This is not possible. That is where P and Q are what? Integer. So irrational numbers are numbers which cannot be expressed as ratio of two integers. It cannot be expressed like that. Example of rational numbers. Theory is a rational number because if you want to express it in the form of two ratio, you can say three divided by one. What a one over number, one over two. This is also what a rational number. Because you can still express it in this form, in the form of three over two, integer, integer. Numerator, integer, denominator, integer. And the denominator is not equal to zero, okay? Look at this 3.5. 3.5 is being expressed as this. You agree with me, you can further express it as 7 over 2. You can see, integer, integer. The denominator is not what? It's not zero. These are what? All rational numbers. This is a negative rational number expressed as minus 71 over 10. This what? Integer, integer. Whether it's negative integer or positive integer, it doesn't matter. As long as the denominator is not equal to zero, we say what? This kind of expression are called what? Rational numbers. So let's see now example of irrational numbers. Some other numbers cannot be expressed as P over Q such that Q is not equal to zero. P and Q belong to integers. Example, this. If you find the square root of two, you are not going to have a specific number. Let's see. You can see, this is not even the end of this number. It continues. This calculator is only truncating the value at this point. So you cannot actually express as a ratio of two integers. The same thing with this kind of number. This is what the cube root of five. Look at this root. Look at this one too. Evil pi. Evil, this what? Exponential. You cannot express them in the form of what? A ratio of two integers. No, you cannot. So now, this now brings us to the definition of what? Sod. Irrational number which are roots of rational numbers are called sod. This two is what? This two is what? A rational number. Two is a rational number because I can express it like this. So if you put this now on top, this what? Become irrational number. So irrational number which are the roots of rational number. Rational number. Okay? The same thing with this. The same thing with this. The same thing with this. All these are what sword. But in this section, we're going to concentrate on quadratic sword. What are quadratic sword? Quadratic sword is when you are only looking at the square root. Square root in the sense that just only this. For instance, this. We are not going to put 4 here. We are not looking at that. We are not looking at Put it six here. We are not looking at putting seven here. Just square root. Square root of what? Rational number. But remember, sort covers all roots. Whether it's fourth root, fifth root, seventh root, eighth root, whatever. But for quadratic sort, we are talking about square root. That's what we're going to do in this session. Okay?
Now, let's look at the rules of salt. Rules of salt. We're going to look at two rules of salt. If I have something like this, the square root of 9, and multiply by the square root of 16, you agree with me, is 3 multiplied by 4, which is 12. You agree? Okay. If I say, oh, I don't want to do it like this. I want to do it like this. The square root of 9 multiplied by 16. Instead of going straight to this place, I first of all bring them together. Say so the square root of what? 144. Because if you multiply this at this, you're going to have 144. And you agree with me, the square root of 144 is 12. We are still arriving at the same result. It therefore means that if this is the square root of A multiplied by the square root of B is actually equals to the square root of A multiplied by B. This is a rule. What is this rule saying? What this rule is saying is, if you have two sorts and there is this multiplication sign separating them, you can actually bring them together under the same roof. That's what we are talking about. Okay? No problem. Let's go for the second one. If you have the square root of 144 all over 9, you agree with me, you can do something like this first by saying, the square root of 144 all over the square root of 9, which is equal to here is 12, while here is 3. If you divide this, you're going to have 4. Okay? The same thing. Instead of separating them like this, before getting the answer, I will say before I come out of this place, before I come out, I divide first. You agree with me that 144 divided by 9 will give us 16. And the square root of 60 is 4. As you can see, this and this are the same. So therefore, the second rule is saying, if you have the square root of A, the square root of A divided by B is actually equal to square root of A over the square root of B. You can separate them as long as what is division that is what between the two numbers. Just like this one, I can also express it like this, that this over this is equal to A over B. Meaning, if they are separated by division, you can bring them all under the same roof as long as the division is still in between them. Just as this one, as long as it's multiplication, there is still in between them. This is what? The rules of what? Sword. Before we continue, let me show you what you cannot do. Look at this. If I have the square root of A, minus the square root of b. You cannot break them together like this. a minus b. It's not possible. Or you have the square root of a minus b. You cannot say they are equal to the square root of a minus b. It's not allowed. Okay? The same thing goes, if you have the square root of a plus the square root of b, you cannot say square root of a plus b. They are not equal. Okay, the same thing goes that the square root of a plus b, as I said here, is not equal to the square root of a plus b. That is, you can't see plus or minus, I try to separate them. But for division and multiplication, it is possible. But for addition and subtraction, it is not possible. Take note. Let's now look at basic forms and single sort forms. What is the meaning of that? If I give you this, as I've said, you can what? Look at this. What is this? Mathematically, it means 81 multiplied by 2. Agree? Okay. Now, with what I've shown you, other rules of sort, I can separate these two. What is the square root of 81? That is 9 multiply by so therefore I can express this like this by what making this multiplication sign to disappear bringing the two together like this the same thing like if I say a dot b I can also say a times b or a b they all mean the same thing okay they all mean the same thing now what is the meaning of basic form a single form sword this is single form because this entire square root is covering one single rational number. 
But this one is called the basic form. So we're going to look at how to convert from basic form to single form, from single form to basic form. So I'm going to give some instances now. Okay? Look at this example. It says, express the following from single sort to basic forms. Okay? Let's look at this now. That is the square root of 54 is equal to the square root of 9 multiplied by 6. So it says square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 6. This is what? Theory square root of 6. So this is what? The basic form. For this guy, is equals to the square root of 49 multiplied by 2 because 49 multiplied by 2 will give us what? 98. Which is the square root of 49 multiplied by the square root of 2. That is 7 square root of 2. So you can see, this is their what? Their basic form. Look at this. Express the following in basic forms. Okay? I want to do this as your assignment. Work on this before you continue. Okay? Write the following basic forms in their single sort forms. Okay? We want to write this in single sort form. So this actually means... 2 multiplied by square root of 3, which is, what is the meaning of 2 in terms of square root? It means the square root of 4. That is square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 3. And we agree that we can bring them together under the what? The rules of sort. This will give us what? 12. Okay? This is the single form of this. This other one, that is, theory the square root of 5 is equal to 3 multiplied by square root of 5, which is, what is the meaning of 3 in terms of square root? It means the square root of 9. Because the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So you bring the two together, 9 multiplied by 5, you agree with me that this is what? 45. This is a single form, Why this is what? The basic form. Hope this is understood. Thank you for viewing. Look at this. It says, write the following basic forms in their single sort form. I want to do this as your assignment. Work on this before you continue. Now, let's look at similar sorts. Similar sorts. What are similar sorts? Assume I have this. 2 square root of 2 or square root of 2, 7 square root of 2, 8 square root of 2, 5 square root of 2 because they all have the same sort, that is the same rational number inside the square root, that is, these two that is common among them, irrespective of the number before these two, we say all these sort are similar sort. They are what? Similar sort. So for instance, if I give you this now two, that the square root of two, as a square root of 18, as a square root of 50, these are all similar sort too. How do I mean that these are similar sort? If you express this further now, you agree with me, you're going to have square root of 9 multiplied by 2. Square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 2, which is 3 square root of 2. Okay? As you can see, there is 2 here, there is 2 here. The same thing for this guy. This is the square root of 25 multiplied by 2. Okay? If you work on this now, you're going to have 25 here, square root of 2 here. This is 5, square root of 2. So you can see, C2. Because of this, we say all these sort are similar sort. Why are we interested in similar sort? This is because similar sort can be added together or subtracted from each other. Okay? Similar sort could either be added together, you can also work separate from each other. For instance, if I come back to this place now, let me come to this side. If I have this square root of 2 plus square root of 2 square root of 2 like this, eh? this is possible. This will give me theory square root of 2. Okay? Now, let me replace this one with A. Replace this one now also with A. What is the meaning of that? I mean A plus 2A. What is that? This is theory A. The same thing. 
Okay? So this is not like what? Alphabet. I can say, this is X, this is X. You see? You can express it like this. The same thing goes, I can say, this minus this, which is the square root of 2. Ow, oh, this is what? 2X. Let's say this is X. This is also X minus X. What is that? That is X. Where S now is equal to this because we made this S before. Understand? This is the reason why we are interested in similar sort. With this now, let's look at what? An example. Thank you. Simplify the square root of 20 plus 45 plus square root of 125 minus 2 square root of 80 equal to the square root of 4 multiplied by 5 plus the square root of 9 multiplied by 5 plus the square root of 25 multiplied by 5. Why this is what? Minus 2, 16 multiplied by 5. Okay? Now, let's look at this now. This also means the square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 5 plus square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 5 plus the square root of 25 multiplied by the square root of 5 minus 2 the square root of 60 multiplied by the square root of 5. Okay? Let's come to this place now. This simply means 2 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 5 plus 5 square root of 5 minus 2, 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by square root of 5. So this will give us 8. This is 8. So therefore, this is 8 square root of 5. Now, this and this will give us 5 plus this will give us 10. That is 10 the square root of 5 minus 8 square root of 5. If you subtract these two, you agree with me, you're going to have 2 square root of 5. Any question? I believe you understand this. In case you have any question, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you. Look at this. It says simplify this. That is 3 square root of 2 minus square root of 32 plus square root of 50 plus the square root of 98. Please work on this before you continue. Thank you. What are conjugate sort? Two sort are said to be conjugate if their product give rise to what? A rational number. For instance, you agree with me that a plus b, a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Okay? So if I have something like this now, the square root of a plus square root of b, a minus square root of b, you agree with me, is the square root of a square minus the square root of b square. Okay? So I just use this one to explain this to you. Therefore, you agree with me that this is a and this is b because this square root and these two will cancel themselves. You agree with me in indices where you have the square root of a like this. It means a raised to the power 1 over 2. Now we have something like this. It means a raised to the power 1 over 2, every t raised to the power 2. Therefore, this upper one, which is 1 over 2 and this 2, this and this will cancel remaining a raised to the power 1. And any t raised to the power 1 in indices is equal to that thing, which is a. So that's what we are getting in this place now. Okay? As you can see, this and this are giving rise to what? Rational number. Although this and this are not rational numbers, but they are giving rise to what? Rational numbers. Therefore, we say that what? This and this are conjugate of each other. Two sorts, which we multiply together. And give rise to what? Rational numbers. All this is understood. Thank you for viewing. Look at this. It says write down the conjugate of each of the following. What is the conjugate of this? The conjugate of this is simply what? The square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. Just put a plus in between them. That is all. For this guy, it is 2 square root of 5 minus 3 square root of 3. Just replace this plus with the opposite sign, which is what? Minus. This is the conjugate of this guy. 
hope this is understood. Thank you for joining. Look at this. Say, write down the conjugate of each of the following. This and this. I want you to do this. Look at this. We are asked to simplify this. Simplify this. Okay? How do we go about that? All you need to do is following this method. A plus B multiplied by A minus B is equal to A squared minus B squared. Why? Because this is conjugate of this. Why this is conjugate of this? If you have this type of sort, don't waste your time. Simply go ahead and do what I explained to you. Equals to, you take this one, that is theory square root of 2, you square it minus, you take this last one, 1 raised to the power 2. But it should be minus, not plus. Therefore, this is equals to, this square is 9, multiply by this and this will go remaining 2, 1. This is equals to 18 minus 1, which is equal to 17. So this is the answer. Okay? Look at this. It says simplify this. Okay? We should simplify this. The same thing. This is equal to 7 square root of 2 minus theory 2. Okay? This is equal to 49 multiplied by 2 minus 3. This is what? 98. Okay? So this will give us 95. Look at this. It says simplify the following. A, 2 minus square root of 3 multiplied by 2 plus square root of 3. B, A minus 2 square root of B and A plus 2 square root of B. I want you to work on this as your assignment. Please do this before you continue. Thank you. Now, I want to look at how to rationalize the denominator, okay? Rationalizing the denominator of a sword. For instance, if I have something like this, 7 over the square root of 2. As you can see, this is a rational number at the numerator. We are divided by what? By sword, okay? Now, how do you do so that you can simplify this further is to what? Rationalize the denominator. To rationalize the denominator, just to multiply this, by this, then also by this. Because with this, I have not changed anything. This can simply wipe out this. So this will still remain, okay? So I have not done anything. So I can use this now to rationalize the denominator, which is equal to this will give you 7 square root of 2. This and this will give you 2. As you can see, this denominator is not a rational number. That's why we say rationalize it. It's not a rational number. Because we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by this value at the denominator. So therefore, if you have something like this, A over the square root of B, you want to rationalize the denominator of this, simply multiply the numerator by B at the denominator by B. Once you've done this now, you agree with me, this is A square root of B, all over B. So you have rationalized this denominator. Hope this is understood. Thank you for viewing. Look at this. It says, given that the square root of 2 is equal to this, simplify this. If you want to simplify this, the first thing you need to do is to first of all rationalize the denominator, which will give you 5 square root of 2 over 2 which is equal to 5 multiplied by this, 1.414, all over 2. If you work on this now, you're going to have... Okay? Let's look at this now. It says, given that the square root of 3 is equal to this, simplify this. Okay? We should simplify this. So, simple, just rationalize the denominator first, which is 6 square root of 3, all over 3, then you substitute this 1.732 over 3. You agree with me that this will give us 2 multiplied by 1.732, which is equal to 3.464. Okay? Look at this. It says, given that the square root of 2 is equal to this, that is 1.414, and the square root of 3 is 1.732, simplify A, 7 over square root of 2, B, 11 over square root of 3. 
Please work on this before you continue. Thank you. Let's look at more on rationalizing the denominator. More on rationalizing denominator. As though we have something like this now, A, this is B, all over A, this is B. And you are asked to rationalize the denominator. If you want to rationalize the denominator, the only way you can rationalize it is to use the opposite of the sign between these two. That is to say, multiply by the square root of A plus the square root of B all over the square root of A plus the square root of B. Okay? Look for the opposite of this sign. If it is plus, you put minus here. If it is minus, you put plus. Once you have done this now, it is easy to do. This is equals to square root of A minus square root of B, square root of A plus the square root of B. All over this, you agree with me? Okay, let me just put them together first before... This is simply equals to, from what you are seeing here now, this is simply equals to, this and this are opposite. This is a conjugate of this. Why this is a conjugate of this? This is a conjugate of this. Why this is a conjugate of this? If you have a situation like this, as we have said, you take the first one here, square root of A, square minus the square root of B square. All over the same T, this is equals to A minus B all over A minus B. But however, if what we have is something like this, the square root of A plus the square root of B all over the square root of A minus square root of B, you agree with me, we're going to have something like this now. Square root of A plus the square root of B all over this minus this. Even the numerator is going to be, okay? So, if we work on this now, let's leave this one at this, as it is. This is A minus B with what we have seen in this place. The reason why this is like this is because this sign and this sign are not the same. We are able to move to this place immediately. And you agree with me, if you cancel this now, you're going to have one, okay? And you also agree with me that even without coming to this place, we should have actually call this one as equals to 1 because the numerator and denominator are the same. But in a situation whereby this sign and this sign are different, you can actually express them like this. Okay? If you want to work on this further now, you will agree with me that this is equals to square root of a square. On this side is what? Square root of b square. In between, we're going to have plus 2 square root of a b okay all over a minus b which is equals to a plus two square root of a b plus b all over a minus b this is equals to a plus b plus two square root of a b all over a minus b okay so let's leave it here Let's now go and use this knowledge to solve what? Some what? Questions. Hope this is understood. Thank you for viewing. Look at this. It says we should simplify this. Okay? Now, let's see. The first thing we need to do to first of all rationalize the denominator of this what? Expression. Multiply by the square root of 5 minus the square root of 3 all over square root of 5 minus the square root of 3. Okay? which is equals to, come up now, 3 plus 2 square root of 2, 5 minus square root of 3, 5 minus 3, which is equals to 3 plus 2 square root of 2, 5 minus square root of 3, all over 2, okay? Which is equals to 1 over 2, Let's express this now. This will give us 3, 5 here. This is minus 3 square root of 3. This is plus 2. The square root of 2 times this will give us 10. This is minus 2, the square root of 6. Okay? We are going to leave our answer in this form. Okay? So this is the result of our 
calculation. Now look at this. He says, simplify this. Simplify this. I want to work on this as a what? As your assignment. Thank you. Look at this. It says, express this in the form of this, where M and N are rational numbers. M and N are rational numbers. Okay, no problem. 8 minus 3 square root of 6, all over 2 square root of 3, plus 3 square root of 2, multiplied by the conjugate of the denominator. And the conjugate of the denominator is this minus 3, 2, okay? The conjugate of the denominator. Now, let's continue working on this. So, the numerator is Nandix. Okay? So, we take this as square minus square, okay? Then, let's just concentrate on the denominator first. If you work on this now, you agree with me, this guy will fetch you 4 multiplied by 3, which is 12. This will fetch you 9 multiplied by 2, which is 18. So that is to say, we're going to have 12 minus 18. And 12 minus 18, you agree with me, is going to give us minus 6. Okay? So we have minus 6 at the denominator. This is equals to, let's work on this now. 1 over minus 6, or we say minus 1 over 6, this and this will give us 16 square root of 3, this and this will give us minus 24 square root of 2, this and this will give us minus this, this is 6, this, this is 18. Okay? If we come for this now, this is plus... 9, the square root of 12. Okay? Look at it. Just to expand this. We can do more with this. Okay? Let's continue. This is equals to minus 1 over 6. This remain the same. Square root of 3 minus 24 square root of 2. What about this? You agree with me that this alone will give us 6 multiplied by the square root of 9 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 6 multiplied by Theory multiplied by the square root of 2, which is equal to 18 square root of 2. So, minus 18 square root of 2. Plus, then this guy is 9 multiplied by the square root of 12, which is equal to 9 multiplied by the square root of 4 times 3, which is equal to 9 times 2 times the square root of 3, 18 square root of 3. Okay? 18 square root of 3. This minus 1 over 6, this is 3, and this is 3. That is similar sort. So 16 plus 18 will give us what? 34 square root of 3 minus this. This and this are also similar sort. So this and this will give us 42 square root of 2. So we're going to expand this. That is minus. This and this will give us 34 square root of 3 over 6 plus 42 square root of 2 over 6. Okay? This here is 17. Here is what? 3. Here is 21. Here is 3. Okay? With this now, we can go further to say minus 17 square root of 3 over 3 plus 21 square root of 2 over 3. You will also agree with me, instead of doing this, I can put what here? 7. So finally, our result is minus 17 over 3 square root of 3 plus 7 square root of 2. This is our final result. Look at this. Express this in the form of this, where P and Q are rational numbers. Please take this as your assignment. If at the end of the day, you have this as a final answer, you know that you are correct. Thank you. Look at this. Simplify 5 over 3 plus square root of 2 minus 2 over 3 minus square root of 2. 
leaving your answer in the form of a plus b square root of n, where a, b, and n are constant. Do this as your assignment. If at the end of the day, you arrive at this 9 over 7 minus square root of 2, you know that what? You are correct. Thank you. Look at this too. He said we should express this in the form of this, where m and n are whole numbers. Work on this as your assignment, and if your answer is this, you know that you are correct. Okay? Also, look at this. It says, express this in the form of P plus Q square root of R, where P, Q, and R are rational numbers. Work on this. If you arrive at this, you know that what? You are correct. Okay? Equality of sort. What is that? For instance, you are given that P plus the square root of M, and you are also given that Q plus square root of N. Now, if you are given this two, what condition can make them equal? So what condition can make this and this to be equal? Okay, let's do that. The condition that can make them equal to say this is equal to this is only possible if we have p minus this is equal to this minus this. On this ground, p minus q must be equal to zero. Why this must be equal to zero? Therefore, under this first line, p must be equal to q, and also here n must be equal to m. If you have this condition that p is equal to q and n is equal to m, then we can say that these two are going to be equal. What will this help us to do? This will assist us to find the square root of sod. Look at this. It says we should find the square root of 7 plus 2, the square root of 10. How can we find this? Okay, let's see. We are going to say let the square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 10 be equal to the square root of n plus the square root of n. Okay? So the, if this guy, that is the square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 10 is equal to the square root of n plus the square root of n. Let's assume that this is the square root. What we are going to do now is to find m and n. So with this now, I can move this square root to this side. And if it is going to the other side, it's going to be square on this other side. Okay? So let's work on this. If we are working on this now, you agree with me, you're going to have... Okay, we work on this now. Have m two square root of n m n plus n, which is equal to n plus m plus two square root of m n. So therefore, we can say that this is equal to this. Okay, that is to say, m plus m is equal to seven, and 2 square root of 10 is equal to 2 square root of m n. If we find m here now, m is equal to 7 minus n. We can also say that here, at this we cancel. If we this square root and this square root we go, therefore 10 is equal to m n. So if I have this as m, I have this other expression. m n, we agree, is equal to 10 on this side. So I can say, therefore, 7 minus n in place of this m. I put this value, then n is still remaining, equals to 10. So let's work on this now. This will give me 7 n minus n square equals to 10. So everything go to this other side to have n square minus 7 n plus 10 equals to 0. If you work on this now, you're going to have this and this equals to 0. Therefore, 
n is equals to 5 or 2. Okay? So to have m now, we come back to this place now. So m is equals to 7 minus, the first one is 5, that is 2. Then the second one is 7 minus 2, which is 5. So this is 5 at 2. This is also 5 at 2. So we cannot agree that the square root of this guy, which was equal to this, is therefore equal to the square root of 5 plus the square root of 2 twice. So twice, because we are putting the value of m. Remember m is what? 5 and 2. n is also 5 and 2. So it is twice. Either you write n first before n, any one, it's going to work it twice. Hope this is understood. Thank you for viewing. Look at this assignment. Say so find the square root of this. Work on this. And if your answer is this at the end of the day, that is this and this. Because we are looking for the square roots. Then you know that what? You are correct. Thank you.